Yeah, just over here, I wanted to express that I'm using a hand saw, and this is actually a saw that's cut on the back stroke. Primarily, nothing happens on the front stroke. It's got a little bit of a concave to it. You'll see it. It's great for pruning. So, you can pick this up in any stores. I think this one's a Fisker. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I'm not getting paid to support brands, but um, it is what it is. It's a freaking saw, but it cuts great, and you don't have to get the chainsaw in there and hurt yourself. Just using this. All right, so what I'm doing is pruning them right now. So I'm gonna be taking them out. Since I can't get it all done today, I came up with the idea to make it look nice before I completely get into it. I'm thinking about transplanting a couple of these, so I don't know. So I took the front one out. The front one was completely gone. The ones along the fence, I don't think I can save because they're so close to the fence that I'm probably gonna to have to cut them off and cut the roots all up to get them out. One, two, three on the outside. I might be able to replant. I don't know. I don't think I can replant any of them because I don't think I can get the whole root ball out without destroying the fence. I would have to take the fence down, so I'm going to have to cut them. But since leaving them look like shit, which I originally was going to do, I figure I'm going to let them look like this until I'm ready to pull them out. And um, that would be a better, I think, a better look. And I'm going to go ahead and that side, I'm going to trim, trim them all back all off the fence line so all I gotta do is just lob the tops off hook something up to them dig out the roots first and then pull them out I might do the first one in front here today I don't know yet uh, but it'll look better than just leaving them all cut off I don't know we'll see what happens
Okay, so here what I'm doing is I'm going to dig out the root, um, go around the entire tree, cut cut it off. This is you can actually do this by hand. Um, a vehicle will rip it out, um, and I've done this to many of them. So this is going to be part one, part two. I'll show you the other trees. So uh, just take note here. It's it's fairly simple. Most of these um, green trees are not that deep into the ground, believe it or not. Even the big ones. So uh, these are about maybe 12 foot tall, and they were not in the ground much. So I was able to dig around them and yank them out by hand, you'll see. You can see right here, you can almost kick it free, but need a little bit more digging. I'm going to dig the other side of the fence so I don't yank the fence out, but you'll, you'll see. It's coming along. Now you're going to want to do this even if you use a truck or something to yank it out of the ground being so close to a fence line you don't want the roots to come up and tear the fence out so that's what i was worried about here and you need to free the roots up from all around 360 degrees if you do not do that you will have problems so keep that in mind it's it's tedious but it's the only way to do it and I've done many of these so Anybody who does this will tell you you got to loosen up the roots or you're not going to get that out. So, pretty simple. And of course, I lost footage, so I already pulled that one out by hand. And I'm going to go ahead and start. This is the part two part, but I'm just going to put it all in one video so you're going to see it all. Same thing. Go around and cut all the roots out. And I was going to replant these, but after how heavy they were, I said forget it. So I yanked this one out with the truck, just so you could see it. It was kind of fun. But um, it's overkill. You don't need to do all that. But if you're going to pull them out as whole, then yeah, you want to use a truck or something to yank them out. But you can do them both ways. So you're going to see both ways in this video. All right, enough of that crap. Let's get the Silverado out. I got the, the toe strap up here. 
I'm just gonna yank it out. I, I wanted to try to save this tree. I'm gonna try one more try time. If not, I'm gonna cut them all down. Well, let's go have some fun. So yeah, that worked. Wish I had the camera over a little bit because I was actually able to maneuver the vehicle in the street and keep pulling it and yank it and twist it just where I want it. I'll show that on the next go around. So stay tuned for the rest of this video to watch the other one. And this is how you do it. This is how you get the uh, whole root and stem up there. Just a dolly. Well, at first you don't succeed. Then I guess you're just stupid. I don't know. Just do it again. There you go. That's how I did the rest of them, really. It was easier this way than the actual pull them out with the truck. All right, so this is what you all want to see. You all want to see me pull that out? Say, pull that out. Anyway, so it's coming out using the Silverado. Yank it out of the ground. Yippity yappity, it's fun. Whatever floats your boat. Right there. Get it? Yeah. I got it. Hey. All right, so you saw it getting yanked out. So what I ended up doing is it was just easier just to top all these off, cut them off like trees. That I'm gonna do later. And I'm just going to yank these out by hand, and you're going to see it's actually a little bit of work, but I enjoy it, and it's actually faster in a way than to have to yank the truck and worry about traffic. And as you can see, these things come loose pretty easy, but uh, yeah, they're a little bit of finagling and get them out. And what I learned is also to lighten the dirt up on the root ball before you yank them out, so you'll see what I'll do, and I'll hit the shovel on the bottom of the root and knock it out so these things have been there for a while and they're not that well rooted in good for me because i thought they were going to be hard to get out but look at that i mean i'm just yanking them out by hand and then i use the dolly once the roots snap they're good to go take all the top of the tree off and then you have more leave enough so you can maneuver it by hand so you can yank them out that's what i learned don't cut them down too low so as you can see here I mean, just a little bit of manhandling, you can get them out. One freaking root that gets stuck and it drive you crazy, but you'll get them out. So the rest of this video is going to be like this, so enjoy. Let me know what you think. Thanks for stopping by.
See right here, I've learned is to release some of that dirt from the root ball, and it's less weight in the trailer, it's less weight for you to pick up. So a couple bangs with the shovel, it knocks that dirt out. Believe me, the more dirt you can get out, the easier it is it's going to be on you. So these are things that I've learned that I'm just going to pass along. They seem redundant, but these are little things that will make your life easier. I've, I've done many of these over the years. Every time I do it, I learn something new. So, and there might be something that I'll learn after this. So the more you know. Oh, so there you go. That's the first half of the trees are all gone. I ended up pulling them out by hand, believe it or not. So as you can see, this is a mess. Still got a lot more. She says, where did all my trees go? They're all gone. I'm going to take all them too out eventually. And then um, he wants to plant some rose bushes and maybe some more new trees because they're these trees are not good anymore. So there you go. Pull them all out. I yanked a few out with the truck just for fun, um, but in reality you didn't have to do all that. So, yeah, clean this up and go to the dump. Unload this mess. So there you go. So with gas prices the way they are, since I have two trailers and I can do it, um, I'm just loading the trailer up till it's full, then I go to the dump. Because usually I just go, no, if I need a trailer, I'm going to take it right away. I don't need to. I'm gonna fill it up. So that's still because I can't put any more in there. It's making too heavy. See, she's probably squatting. Not quite yet, but it's done. I don't stop talking to myself.